Hey, what's up? It's Who The F Is JC, your unofficial junk food connoisseur. We're back again with another snacking related video. We're back on the pop train. That's right, where I'm from, we call soda pop, pop. So I'm sticking to it. It's called pop. We're back on the pop taste test. Why? Because Coca-Cola has another new flavor. Now this uh, flavor came out back at the end of February. And if you recall, Coca-Cola's put out all these weird artsy fartsy flavors like uh, what your dreams taste like, starlight, pixels, um, they did a mashup with Marshmallow, the, the DJ. So they've done these weird artsy fartsy kind of uh, new flavors that they've launched to make them taste like things you've never really been able to experience the flavor of, like a pixel. You don't really know what a pixel tastes like or you don't know what a dream tastes like. So we're back into the, the Coca-Cola creations. This time they partnered up with, a, I think she's a Spanish pop star, Rosalia, I think is her name. I'm not familiar with the music or anything like that. But this one is called Coca-Cola Move, and it's supposed to taste like transformation. So that to me makes it seem like it's gonna be a bunch of different flavors all in one pop. And uh, we're gonna crack this bad boy open, give it a whiff, let you know what it smells like, pour it into a cup, let you know what it looks like. And then finally, of course, I'm gonna give it a sip and let you know what it tastes like. So uh, again, like I said, Coca-Cola's had Dream World, Starlight, um, Bite, I think was the name of the, the, the pixel flavored one. And uh, out of all of them, I think Dream World might have been the closest to being pretty good. I think Starlight was just okay. It had kind of a vanilla-y, marshmallow-y toasted flavor to it. So uh, we'll see what's in store here with the Coca-Cola Move. I feel like in terms of new pop flavors, I'm more on Team Pepsi, but I am a Pepsi boy. I'm a Pepsi man. Uh, been a Pepsi man since I was a little Pepsi boy. And uh, I think like Pepsi's flavors have been kind of nailing it more so than Coca-Cola. But I feel like the Coca-Cola flavors are like the hipster, the hipster pop with these weird wacky names and flavors that they're supposed to be. But uh, Move promises Coca-Cola flavor with subtle hints uh, and notes of other flavors. Thanks, great description because that's pretty much any kind of a new flavor uh, beverage. It's kind of like the old one, but with some new stuff. Essentially, that's what, that's what it said. When I was doing some research, that's what it said. Now, this flavor is only going to be available for a limited time, and it is still available online. Um, you might be able to find it in stores. I bought this at the end of February. It's been a while since I've had a chance to get to this taste test. I've had so many other cool items and flavors and snacks come up that uh, this got put on the back burner. So, uh, But we're back into it. We're going to taste test it uh, again. I got mine at Kroger. I don't know why I said it again, but I got mine at Kroger. Um, they had a display right by the checkout um, when I was leaving. So you could probably maybe still find it at grocery stores, but uh, it looks like it is still available online at coca-cola.com. So if you are impressed with my review and you like the way it sounds and you want to give it a whirl for yourself, there's a way for you to get it. But let's crack this bad boy open and see what it smells like. What does a transformation smell like? Because to me, a transformation would kind of smell like a fart because I'm transforming food that I ate into poop and then the farts come out so that's what uh, transformation smells like to me from food to poop it smells like a fart <laughs> what does Coca-Cola transformation taste like we'll find out right now with this move Back it open. there we go and I'm not sure I feel like it's available in a zero form as well as regular and what do I have I think I just had the limited edition regular kind. So I don't think this is uh, the zero Coke move zero. But let's see, what does it smell like? It smells like a dentist office. It smells like a co Coca-Cola at the dentist is what it smells like to me. Kind of just a chemical-y Coca-Cola flavor uh, or scent. I'm not picking up any particular notes or any other kind of particular flavors that I can rattle off. But it kind of smells, it smells to me like, I feel like I'm in the dentist office chair and they're getting ready to do the polish. And maybe this is like the smell of a, a polish. Like I want to say it's minty, but not fully minty. And it seems like the longer the cap stays off, the more of an aroma I can pick up. Definitely a sweetness to it, separate from the Coca-Cola smell. Almost like when you stick your head into a the pillowcase full of Halloween candy, you just get all those aromas of sweetness and candy. 
orange. That's what's kind of hitting me. So I don't know, maybe it's gonna be fruity. It'll be Coca-Cola with uh, some fruit flavors. I don't know. Let's pour it in. Let's see if it still just looks like Coke. That brown classic Coca-Cola color. In the cup, it almost looks a little more golden. Almost looks more like a root beer. Almost more root beer like. Let me see if we get a better whiff. Okay, this Coca-Cola. It's so hard, I can't really wrap my tongue around what the other aroma with it is. Coconut? Maybe it's coconut? I'm almost getting, now I'm almost getting like a coconutty, almond joy, suntan lotion kind of smell. Maybe it's coconut. I don't know. Are we going tropical? Are we going, are we going to the Caribbean with this bad boy? I guess we'll find out. So, let me, uh, let's take a sip. Definitely picking up like, I feel coconut. Coconutty, tropical kind of vibes. Like the aftertaste. It is like an aftertaste that hits you like right in the tongue after you've uh, you swallowed the sip. And to me, that, it's like coconut marshmallow was almost what it reminds me of. Definitely reminds me of coconut or a, like a pina colada. If you like pina colada. So a transformation, I guess, tastes like pina coladas, coconuts. Yeah, it's weird. I feel like I feel like it's sweet, like a marshmallow. I feel like I'm picking up like marshmallow notes. I feel like I'm picking up coconut, coconut and marshmallow. There's like a sweet candiness to it, but not fruity. Definitely not fruity. So, um, a different kind of sweetness than that. But as you're drinking it, you definitely get the classic Coca-Cola flavor, a little hint of some more sweetness to it. And then the aftertaste to me, it's coconut and marshmallow. Not the DJ, like the marshmallows you would roast by the campfire and put in your s'mores. Um, yeah, I mean, it's pretty good. I'm not blown away by it. Um, maybe it's kind of like a cream soda. Maybe it's like a Coca-Cola cream soda. Coconut cream soda, would that make sense? I mean, those kind of work, those flavors, coconut and cream soda. But um, So we've taken a sip from the cup. Let's see, I feel sometimes when you take a sip from the actual container the beverage comes in, a can or a bottle, there's more action that goes on with the flavors and the swirls and the, the carbonation. So you actually get either a, a better feeling of what the taste is or less of a better feeling. So I'm gonna take a sip from the bottle and uh, give my final thoughts here. But hold on, this is really gassy. <laughs> over Taco Bell, making his way back up. Mm -hmm. All right, let's give this sip from the bottom, straight from the spigot. I feel like I'm drinking melted marshmallow and sunscreen in a bottle of Coca-Cola. Those are the two flavors I pick up, coconut, which is where the sunscreen comes in, and marshmallow, which is where the marshmallows come in. So, um, not sure exactly what the flavors are, but it's not bad. I wouldn't expect the transformation to taste like, you know, sunscreen and marshmallows, but it's, uh, got a hair on my tongue or something. Maybe that's why I'm getting all these weird flavors. Nope. Got it, okay. So, I would say it's worth a try. I think it's worth, to me, I guess almost any new flavor of a beverage or food item is worth giving a whirl. But uh, I'm not disappo I'm disappointed in what this one tastes like, but I'm just I'm also not excited about it, if that makes sense. It's cool, new flavor Coke, no big deal, no big whoop, you know? I feel like you taste more of the coconut I'm drinking this straight from the bottle. I don't know if it has to do with the, the carbonation. And there's also like that creamy, cream soda, marshmallowy sweetness that goes along with it. So, final guess would be coconut, cream soda, and marshmallow. Bam, here's movement and there's your transformation. Maybe the marshmallow is transforming into a coconut and the cream soda is the agent that makes the change. I don't know, but um, I'm not rushing out to get any more. This is, uh, it would probably be my one and only bottle. 
and that's not because I'm a Pepsi man. Um, if the Coca-Cola was delicious and really piqued my interest, I would probably buy it again. So again, Coca-Cola, move. It's supposed to taste like a transformation. It uh, is available for a limited time. You should be able to find it online at coca-cola.com. Check your local grocers. Um, they might have it on like a, a display, a specific display for the move flavor Coke. Check your end caps, check your checkouts, especially check the self checkouts. That's where I found this one. There's a display right in the middle of the self checkout and I grabbed a bottle. And again, I got this at the end of February. They might not be available in stores anymore. So that's my review for Coca-Cola Move. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you did, please give the video a like, drop the video a like right down here. I think it's down here, I don't know. When I record these, everything's flip flopped and I forget what I'm doing. So um, there's a like button. Hit that thumbs up on one of these, one of these sides of the video. Hit that like button. And if you really, really enjoy my content, please subscribe to the channel. Anything you do to interact with me while I post a video or after a video is posted, comments, likes, shares, all this stuff helps me out in the YouTube algorithm. At least that's what all the experts are telling me. And at least that's what the website I pay a monthly fee for advice is telling me. So anything you can do to help this video get in front of more people, I would greatly appreciate. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much. Um, thanks for watching. And again, hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget, you can find me on Twitch, streaming video games, snacking, and other shenanigans every so often. And you can find me there over at twitch.tv slash who the F is JC. But that's the end of this video. So until next time, sayonara, sucker.